We're now at the finishing stage, and this is where you can really make your frame your own and be creative with how the bamboo looks, how the lugs look, the connection pieces, and you can add decals and stickers and really customize it to your own taste. I'm gonna finish this quite simply. I'm gonna keep the lugs black and I'm gonna keep the bamboo natural. But what I'm gonna do is show you some techniques and tricks that you can try at home when you're building your frame. So the first thing I'm gonna do, guys, is because I'm just gonna paint these lugs here, I'm gonna protect the bamboo. So if I'm putting paint on or any colors, I wanna make sure that the bamboo stays natural and the lugs maintain all the color. So I'm gonna take my masking tape and I'm just gonna mask off all the bamboo and I'm gonna protect all the areas that I just don't wanna cover with paint. So I'm trying to cover every area of the frame so that it's all protected. Because the last thing I want are little patches of paint on the bamboo. I just wanna keep it all really, really natural and keep it looking like bamboo. Okay guys, so now that this is all taped up, it's great to feel the frame. I can feel the weight of everything. It's a really nice feeling of having just put it all together. The next step is to get some paint on this bad boy and get it looking really, really cool and original. So I'm gonna get rid of the frame for now and I've got a couple of samples that I'm gonna show you so that you can get an idea of what you can do at home. For this, guys, you're gonna need some sanding paper, similar to what we were using for shaping the bamboo. The first look I've got is just a completely natural look. And all you would wanna to do to this is just to apply a tin of clear coat. You can get that at any DIY shop, you can get it at an automotive shop. And this clear coat, what it will do is it will seal the bamboo off, and it will stop moisture movement. So any water leaving the bamboo it will also protect the bamboo against rain, snow, or any other conditions you might face, and it will keep it looking really fresh and natural. So apply this outdoors, and you just put a liberal coat over all the bamboo on your frame. So that's the natural look. I've got another example here, guys, where the top layer of the bamboo can be removed, and what you'll end up is you'll be exposing this nice grain so you'll get more of a kind of wood grain effect. And all you need to do is you take your rough sandpaper and a 60 grit, and you just sand this all down until the, the top grain starts to show. And you just want to take the top layer off. And then you take, I've got some other sandpaper here, and it's 180, so it's a finer sandpaper. And then you just run that over the smooth look. And that's just going to soften and make it super smooth. Okay, and then once you've sanded that back, you just want to clean off any dust. So again, just take the same cleaner that you were using on the lugs and just clean this down. Okay, just lifting off any residues, any oils, allowing the alcohol just to evaporate off the bamboo. And you can see, so we've got a really nice grain exposed finish. If you sand it off the top layer, you really, really need to apply a lacquer coat, okay? Because that's gonna seal off the bamboo again and stop any moisture. So take your lacquer, give it a really good spray. And there you can see that nice shiny finish coming up. And that's just sealing the, the bamboo off. And you'd wanna do that to all the tubes, okay? So what you guys wanna do is just spray the lacquer and do that all over the tube until it's completely covered. And you can build up two to three layers of lacquer. So the next stage, guys, I'm gonna show you how to create a nice stain on your bamboo. So you can use like a natural wood stain, you can use a paint stain, but it's just gonna allow the grain to come through the bamboo, but it's gonna give it a different color, okay? So the first step to do is just to sand off the bamboo and remove that top skin. By taking the top skin off, you allow the bamboo to be more permeable, so we can put paints and stains on, but you must, must apply a lacquer once you finish sanding, because then it will seal off again the bamboo. So we're just gonna open the grains up. So I'm using this 60 grit sandpaper, okay? And then the next step, guys, is just give it a polish with a 180. 
and that will just start to get smooth and you can feel it with your hands so make sure you feel how the sand in how the bamboo feels and then finally again guys taking the same alcohol just clean off any excess oils or sawdust or anything else okay so just give that a really good clean like so and you can see it's looking nice and sharp and then just allow that to evaporate off okay the next step guys is in the workshop i've just got some exterior wood stain so this is something you might put on your fence or anything else that you've got exterior and exterior is really good because obviously we're going to use the bamboo out and about and you know in the rain in the snow and i'm just going to take a little bit onto a rag and the beauty of using a rag is that you can apply it really evenly on the bamboo and you can see i'm getting a nice brown color depending on the stain you're using the color will vary okay so the bamboo is just getting darker and darker see i can still see all the grain underneath but it's just giving it a really nice dark stain and then once that's dried final step guys is just to apply a little bit of lacquer on that's going to give it a nice stain okay so that's the dark stain and that needs to dry then until it all evaporates so guys the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to do a painted finish on the bamboo so how to apply a color so again sand in the bamboo back and i'm going to try and get it as fine as i can so i'm going to try and get it a bit finer okay and once that's fine again guys clean everything and just take your time and even this table you know clean off your work environment as well okay and what i'm going to do here guys so i've got some leftover electrical tape so what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to create a line here on the bamboo and that's just going to give me a bit more of an effect so it's an idea of how you can be a bit more creative and i'll show you two examples so we're going to do one where i just tape the tape on and I'm just going to create a swirl effect on here I'm just doing this freestyling you know obviously everyone knows about cut decals so I'm just going to do that like that and then this other one I think I'm just going to do a line so you know like a go faster stripe just very roughly okay if you're using paints on the bamboo you really want to use an automotive grade spray paint so again something you can easily pick up so i've just got some exterior and i think i've just picked out some blue that i've got in the workshop so if it's any spray you just want to make sure that you give it a really really good shake yeah i'm gonna go that way okay i'm gonna pop another glove on again if you're doing this at home maybe spray outdoors in your garden or just paper down the area that you're going to spray because obviously you don't want to get paint on your favorite dining table or anything like that okay so here we go so i'm just applying one coat here and if you want you can obviously build up layers and i'm sure you can do this neater at home okay gonna let that sit for a minute and just top up any gaps I see I'm just gonna top them up gonna let that dry so we just need to let that dry James yeah. once this is all dried you can see it just gives a really nice finish and you can build up more and more layers and the tape that I've mar marked off with a bit of electrical tape you can just see the effect it has you can see here you just got a really nice line so you kind of got a bamboo reveal um, you can also obviously then just remove the swirly part so i'm sure you can come up with your own creative processes of decorating the bamboo you can use blues you can use pinks you can use blacks whatever color you might want but you can just see there some effects okay and i think the bamboo looks really 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 lovely painted you can just see the nice bamboo underneath so that's a painted effect the final step for that guys is once you've painted and it's all dried you want to apply your clear coat and that will just go over and that will just give a really nice finish there okay so that's applied a really nice and what the lacquer will do is it will protect the paint protect the bamboo so if you scratch this which you, you sometimes do when you're riding you're just going to scratch the lacquer rather than the paint and again that's giving really good waterproofing okay so that is your painted finish
Thanks for watching this short tutorial. For more information on bamboo bikes, builds and components, visit our website. And for more general updates, follow us on social media and if you like what you see, subscribe to our channel.